What it is, what it was, what it could be, y'all. Welcome back to Disc Golf Justice. Today we're talking about a dish slash disc type that may not be for everyone's bags, but it just might be for your bag. I am talking about a very understable utility disc for me. I am rocking the West Side Disc Underworld. This is a very understable fairway driver. The numbers being seven, six, negative three, and one. To some people, this might be a straight shooter. And to people with a bigger cannon than me, this thing is an instant roller. I'm not saying go pick up this disc in particular, but having a very, understable fairway driver could get you out of a pickle when you least expect it. Now I had actually taken this disc out of my bag for the longest time just because I thought it was too understable. As of recently I've started to understand what its use cases could be for me. Personally this disc is so understable that if I throw it flat it pretty much turns into a cut roller and depending on the wind might even become a full roller and roll out the other way. And at first I thought oh that's completely useless. I mean this is just too flippy. Put it under the rack. But then I realized what if you have a shot where you got a low ceiling right you're you got into the bush and now you got a low ceiling underneath these trees and you can't really get an air shot super far but you can get a roller have a disc that's super understable throw flat and it's gonna do all the work for you roll over and get you that big distance and get you out of that situation i don't necessarily use it as much for that on the backhand but for me the forehand because when you throw a forehand you get a lot more torque it's easy much easier for me to throw this this flat like if i was underneath some trees i could throw it flat flip up to straight become a roller and then even roll out to the right. And that is a very useful shot. I'll show you what I mean. And look at that. See how that stayed pretty low the whole time? But you're getting pretty decent distance like if you did a completely air shot. So I just threw this thing flat. Not incredibly hard, but it didn't go high. So imagine if you just had a low ceiling. This just went around 350 feet. Throwing it flat, turning it into a roller. Let the disc do the work. This is where I think having a super understable fairway driver or a super understable disc that can do something similar for you is pretty crucial to have in a bag and can really get you out of a crappy situation. Now I'll do the same thing on the backhand. This one I will have to put a little bit of an Anheuser on it because we do have a bit of a tailwind coming right Right now. So I will put a smidge of Anheuser on this, but I'm going to keep it pretty low and it should still turn into a roller. So I didn't stay super low to be honest, but yeah, that thing's gone. That thing's gone. Holy smokes. That's probably around 400 feet. Again, this is a downhill field, but that easily is around 400, if not further than 400 feet. It didn't stay super low, but imagine you just, it was low at the beginning. Imagine you had a low ceiling here and then you had a clearing. I just threw that smidge of Anheuser, completely did, the disc did all the work, flipped over and got me around 400 feet of distance. Yeah, that thing was absolutely crushed. Definitely went over 400 feet. But the coolest part about a disc like this is that once you fully understand it, you can start playing around and get experimental with it. I only found out just the other day that I could throw these easy roller types with this disc. That's why it went back in the bag. But if you power down on it, you can do probably an easy hyzer flip for a straight shot. Or if you super power up on it, you know, or you could try different lines. You could start experimenting with the disc like this. And you might be surprised how many situations you get yourself out of because of a disc like this. All right, y'all, that is gonna wrap up the video. I'm not quite sure to call this like an easy roller tutorial or if this is understable fairway propaganda. I'm not sure which one this is gonna end up being. But either way, let me know is an extremely flippy fairway driver coming into your bag is this a disc that you could see yourself utilizing getting yourself out of some tricky situations personally it's worked itself back into my bag because it's such an easy roller if i need something where i got a low ceiling and i need to still get a roller or because i'm just not good at throwing rollers to begin with and i still need to get a roller off i'm going to this disc because it's just easy money let me know down in the comments what disc you use for your easy roller disc i'm very curious as always if you like the video make sure you give it a big old thumbs up if you want to see more make sure you smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future content and i'll catch you in the next one peace